<laughs> Feed the beast! Feed the beast! Feed the beast! All right, we are out here this morning walking into the office for work to get my catering assignments for the morning. Should be a good day today. Only in Indiana. Now that's a cool truck. That's what I want. I'll just go with that car instead, actually. Oof, red interior. That looks nice. Now this next order I'm doing is kind of weird because on the order it says to drop the food at the door, just knock on the door and then just leave. Which is weird, it's, kind of, it's an apartment. I don't know, I've delivered to her several times and I don't hear any like vicious dogs barking or anything, so I don't know. Maybe she just likes to avoid all human contact. Well, easy enough for me as well. No, uh, Customer interaction. I guess that's all right. She tipped me already on the credit card, so there you have it. So just delivered to uh, this tattoo shop here, grade A. That's actually the place where I got my first tattoo, um, except it was called Tip Top Tattoo at that time. I delivered to tattoo shops pretty often, uh, Studio 13 and then grade A in the mall. Also orders quite a bit. And uh, I think that would be funny to get like a tattoo like every time I go in and deliver like a small something It's like here's your tip. Here's a little stroke of ink or something and then eventually just build up to a tattoo or I could have like tally marks going, you know every time I deliver to a tattoo place just put a tally mark on my forearm permanently <laughs> No bad idea stupid idea Look at that birdie. Look at that birdie. It's walking on its little skinny ass legs. Oh, there you are. My beautiful, beautiful Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. It's after two o'clock, just barely. Which means they got their iced coffee on sale. Oh yeah, we got it. Mm. Oh yeah. Great. Now I'm in. Uh, now I'm in a uh, much better mood. If I wasn't already before. Be quiet. Quiet. These birds won't let me enjoy my coffee. I just found a nice spot of shade over here, and all of a sudden these birds just start chirping like they came in as a flock, and now they're just annoying me. Like, come on. Stop. Chirping! Stop! Chirping! <laughs> yeah, I found a little spot over here in the corner of uh, the Canterbury. The dead freaking place over here, formerly known as Pierre's, formerly known as The Hub, formerly known as Pierre's. I don't even know, dude. Changing it up. Formerly known as Snickers. Right there, you can see the little color of the building there. The comedy bar that's closed down. This area is just a pile of crap. Oh yeah, done with work for today. And uh, now it's time to go have some fun. Gotta have equal amounts of work and fun. Otherwise, you'll just go insane. You can't work too much and you can't have fun too much. So you gotta, gotta find that right balance. And I think I'm grasping that. Ding dong. Hello. Open the door. Oh, I can't see. Hey, right what's up? What's up? Oh. Ew, that's nasty, dude. Hey, Francisco, what's up? Hey, How's it going? going? What are we playing? Come on. What are we playing? Lovers in a dangerous space time. Love, lovers? lovers? What? Yeah. what kind of game is this? Hopper. You're Hopper. Come on. Okay, okay. 
Where's the remote? This Ooh, one? That one. Ooh. That one. Jumping to Chipotle here. We got quite the crew going. Lauren, my sister. What up? Hi, Hello. What's up? Rain. A paven. <laughs> and <laughs> what? A paven. <laughs> Just one. Singular. Just one of me, guys. And Francisco here. You. Eat some Chipotle. After this, going to, uh, what is it called? The Fort Wayne Escape Room or? What's it called? Escape Fort Wayne? It's a different location than. Oh, Room to Escape. So a different location than we went last time. Um, we're doing like a science lab kind of room. So we'll see how that is. Well, we got here first because Hitesh just took the wrong way. Where are you going? You don't even know where he's going. So we're here at uh, Room to Escape. And this is the different escape room here. All right, so we got the quite the team going here. Team. We got a couple doctors. Look, doctor, <laughs> doctor. Soon to be. This guy's like super smart anyway, right? Soon to be I'm doctor. Smart, She's but pretty I'm smart. Yeah. And what? Soon to be doctor. Soon to be doctor. Okay. No, you know what they say about you maybe being like the dumbest person in the room? That you're probably wrong. It's me. <laughs> Oh, like, oh. like, never mind. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> We're doing this lab disaster room. First, oh, we have to sign a waiver because we might die. So I'm not sure how much more I'll be able to record here, but uh, hopefully we'll escape. Hopefully we will live. So we did escape. We had like four minutes left. We escaped. Not too bad. It wasn't, uh, this one here, this escape room wasn't as like, uh, I don't know what the word for it is. Technical theatrical or maybe? theatrical. Yeah, that's one. It wasn't as theatrical as the one downtown. Uh, I think the one downtown is definitely more entertaining as far as like, uh, atmosphere goes. So cool. I guess that's, yeah, it's still cool. A lot of different puzzles, keys, stuff like that. Back home from the escape room here. I think we got a pretty good team going so far. We've conquered two escape rooms together with the addition of my sister this time. So uh, I think some more escape rooms are in the future as we discover some different. Uh, there's one more location in Fort Wayne that has uh, escape rooms, so we might try that out. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we might uh, get really into this and like take it nationwide and go to a button no, I'm just kidding um, it'd be cool though like professional escape room teams I don't know just a thought but uh, anyway thanks for watching today give this a like if you'd like and I'll see you guys next time all right